Hey guys, today we're going to be running through uh, replacing a Cummins X15 rear main seal. Listed below are the recommended Cummins service tools, including the crankshaft rear seal tool, part number 3164780, the Cummins spacer, part number 4918688, and the Cummins guide pins, part number 3164765. Uh, this is not a rear main that I would recommend you try and complete without the proper tooling. So make sure you have these on hand before you attempt this repair. Additional service items include crocus cloth to remove any rust or other deposits, um, and also rags, brake clean, um, and whatever you need to get the surfaces clean. So let's get into it. Our first step would be to use three flywheel mounting cap screws to secure the crankshaft rear seal tool. Part number 3164780 to the crankshaft. Install a drill pilot into one of the holes in the rear crankshaft seal tool and drill a hole through the seal casing. Remove the pilot and repeat the procedure for the two most evenly spaced holes. Basically what you're doing is making room for the self-tapping screws you're gonna be using. Your next step will be to install three self-tapping screws into the tool. You will remove the cap screws that are holding the tool in place and install the center bolt. You will use the center bolt, turning it clockwise, to remove the seal. Now, on installation, never use a hammer or a mallet to install the seal uh, because you will more than likely damage it. Do not use any kind of lubricants such as oil. Apply a 10% soap solution to the outer rib surface of the seal. Guide the rear crankshaft seal and installation tool over the crankshaft. Note, the Cummins spacer part number 4918688 is used to make sure that the uh, installation depth is correct. The flat side of the spacer must contact the seal during installation. Three Cummins guide pins, part number 3164765, are required on repto applications to support the crankshaft and the replacer plate. Um, this probably won't apply to most people. The rear crankshaft seal must be pressed evenly into the bore. Misalignment of the seal can cause damage. Hand tighten the three installation screws against the Cummins installation tool part number 3164780. Tighten the screws not more than one half of a turn at a time in a clockwise pattern. Tighten the screws not more than half a turn at a time in a clockwise pattern until the installation tool seats against the flywheel housing. Torque value is shown below. It is 16 Newton meters or 142 inch pounds. Um, so don't get wild. Remove the installation tool and you're done.